Hi everyone! So, seeing as it's coming up to Halloween, I mean it is still two months away, but it's coming up quickly, um, I've decided to make a what's in my special effects case video. Um, just so that if you're a beginner you might have like a little bit of an idea of what to buy and what, like what's important I suppose. Um, obviously I'm no like crazy expert but I feel like I know what I'm doing most of the time so um, I thought I'd just give you a look into my messy little world that is my special effects cases so let's go. First of all I'm going to show you what's in my biggest case which is this one. Um, it's kind of hard for me to open and show you like that so I'm just going to put it down and pick things up individually. Hope that's okay with you guys. It best be. So first of all what I'm going to show you is some different types of fake blood. Um, there's like a lot of things on the market and to be honest like they're all pretty cool like I mean as long as they look like blood. But there are different types so um, I'm going to show you a few. The first two I'm going to show you are scratch gels and they're by Cryolan. There is a fresh scratch gel which is a bright red and a um, well this says fresh scratch as well but not as fresh I imagine. So that's a darker one. And basically what these are is like a stringy gooey kind of consistency and then you can just drag it across the skin with like a, uh, a brush or the end of a pencil or anything like that and it leaves a scratch effect. It's really cool and I think they're really awesome. These are about £8 each from a shop called Charles Fox and if you google it I imagine that you might be able to get it cheaper and from somewhere else. That's just where I got mine from. The next type of blood I have got is actually a tooth effects enamel which is really cool if you want to do like a zombie makeup or just like a really badly beaten up kind of makeup because it makes your teeth look like you've been chewing on people which is you know it's all well and cool so this is by Meron Tooth Effects I got this from Amazon this was like a fiver and um, it's really cool it tastes kind of minty and it's not that awful to have on your mouth so that's good as well another product by Meron that I've got is this coagulated blood gel which sounds gross, um, but basically it's just a kind of gooey, it looks like jam to be fair. <laughs> it's like a gooey sort of blood that's good for like filling in wounds. So say you make a wound out of wax or um, sculpt gel and then you can just kind of scoop some of this in and it's a nice colour. It's not crazy realistic, but it's not too bad to be fair. And that was like £3 from Amazon. A lot of Halloween stuff I find is weirdly cheap. But um, as you move up to do more like complicated things, like I'm going to show you in a little while, and that's when things start getting pricey, which is the downside. But definitely like around Halloween time, stuff like Meron and Cryolan aren't that bad. And Snazaroo as well. The next thing I've got I have to apologise for because it's a mess, but it is Nick Dudman Blood. And this is my favourite blood that I own. It's very realistic and it's a dark blood and it's awesome. I use it on basically everything that I do. Um, I just love it. I love I love fake blood. I would quite happily spend all my money on fake blood. This is probably about £10 just for this bottle but it does last a while if you you know use it kind of sparingly. Don't just go pouring it all over everything um, because blood like this it's too expensive to be pouring it all over everything. Don't do that. If you are wanting to pour blood all over everything, which I often do want to do, then I suggest getting a big bottle of theatrical blood. This stuff is cheap, but it also stains like crazy. So if you're going to use this stuff, you want to use it on old clothes, around old items, in a room you don't care about because it will stain everything that you love. Um, but it is cool and if you want to splash blood on everything so and I like I said I often do so I've got this one a big bottle and I've also got a little bit in here which I kind of um, mixed with some blue food coloring to make it a little bit of a more realistic color and I also added in some golden syrup which um, not sure I suggest that but it makes it thicker um, but I'm not sure how long this is going to last now. I probably need to use this pretty fast before it goes gross. 
or attracts like a million ants into my house. We'll see what happens first. Um, this is another type of blood that I got from a website called Screenface. It's their own brand of blood. It is fine. It's quite cheap, maybe about four pounds for this bottle. And if you're just wanting some kind of like more professional looking blood, but you're not wanting to pay the prices for the like Nick Dudman stuff or Fleet Street or anything like that, then this is pretty cool. The last thing that I've got for blood effects are some mouth capsules, some blood mouth capsules. Now I don't like the taste of these and I don't like having them in my mouth, but they can be quite cool if someone else wants to look like they've, you know, like been eating people again like zombie stuff. Or you know, just, just for gross stuff, you just pop one in your mouth and blood forms. And I'm not too fond, but I have them. Next up, I'm going to talk about a few different waxes that I have to make wounds and stuff like that. So, first of all, I have Cryolan Cinewax, which is a white sort of clear wax, which is good for small things like, um, like a cut finger or maybe just like a little cut on the face. Nothing too big. Um, and to stick down wax, I often use Spirit Gum, which is this stuff, which you can get from most Halloween shops pretty cheaply. Um, so just throwing it in there, some spirit gum as well is what I have in my kit. Another type of wax that I have is this plastic by Cryolan, which is a dark coloured wax, which to be honest, I'm not overly fond of, but it does come in useful so for some things. Um, I just think it's good to have a lot of options in your kit, just so, you know, if something comes along, it might be useful. I just like to collect things, I think. I have a problem. And another one that I've got which is really cheap and pretty cool is some Snazaroo special effects wax. And as you can see, I've used quite a lot. Because you know what? Sometimes Snazaroo is just fine. You can go out and buy all these really expensive, like, Krylan and, you know, these big brands. But sometimes the cheap stuff works just fine, especially just for Halloween. Because most of the time, you're out for a couple of hours, like, trick-treating, or maybe you go out, like, to a party. To be honest, it doesn't need to be film quality. I mean, I know that it's nice to be film quality. But sometimes Snazaroo is just fine. I sound like I'm sponsored by Snazaroo. I'm not. I mean, I'd like to be. Snazaroo, you out there? You wanna give me some stuff? I'll, I'll say it's good. I mean, I'm sure it is. Last thing I've got is this little thing by Meron, which comes with a sealant. And I can't remember what it's called, but I think it's called something like Flesh something. And it's really cool because it's pink colored, which obviously isn't everyone's flesh color, but I think you can get it in the dark like this and it's got little pieces of like cotton wool through it or something so it's kind of like a pulpy texture which is <laughs> like strangely satisfying and really good for making like torn um kind of cuts and wounds like like really gross stuff but then you seal it with this so it stays on longer and I really like it and I think I'm going to buy a bigger tub because I'm using it very sparingly right now but I want to use it not sparingly, I want to spread it everywhere. The next thing that I recommend you get for Halloween and for any job really is some face paints. Um, there's a lot of different types out there but I tend to use at the moment Snazaroo. It's cheap and the palettes last a long time. I actually got a big kit um, so a lot of those came in there but then I bought a few extra colours outside of that. What I recommend getting is a black, a white, a red, a blue, and a yellow. And then you can mix like any... Next thing I've got are a few grease paint palettes from Cryolan. I think they're really cool for making um, bruised effects. I have actually got a bruise wheel, which looks like this. So you've got purples, yellows, greens, reds, blues. Make really cool bruises. I love it a lot. I use it a lot. Um, I just think it's the best way to make bruises. It works a lot better than face paint because grease paint, like, uh, what's the word? Melds together better? Blends together better. Oh my gosh, I have like lost my mind today. Next wheel I've got is called Zombie, which I think that you can guess what it's for. But there's like a grey, a green, brown, yellow, blue and a white. 
And then another one that I have is called Burned Skin. So I think by now you can uh, kind of guess what that's for. I don't think I'm in focus, guys. I haven't got my glasses on though. There you go, is that better? I, I apologise if I've not been in focus this whole time. Um, just everything kind of looks blurry to me right now because I haven't got my glasses on and I'm wearing false lashes. It's like 9 in the morning I thought that that would be a good idea for this video. I don't know why. I just want to impress, yeah? Okay. But back to the cry one. Okay, so these cost about £11. I got mine from Charles Fox. Um, and I love them. They're really good and I think they're really good value for money because these will last you forever unless you go like properly smearing it on your face. Um, which I don't recommend. Um, I mean, each to their own, but I don't recommend smearing it like, everywhere, you know. Next thing I've got is some liquid latex. I think that everyone that knows anything about Halloween knows what liquid latex does. Um, good for zombie, good for like decaying skin. It's good for a lot of things and um, it's it's fairly cheap. This is Krylon, again, I'm like obsessed. Um, the only downside about liquid latex is that it smells really, really gross. Um, I'm not sure if it's just this one. I don't think it is. I think it's all of them. It smells like fish. It's gross. Just be prepared. Um, and I use this on little latex sponges and just, you know, just pour it on everything. Yeah. Um, it's good to use with toilet roll, weirdly enough. You layer toilet roll, you layer this on your face. It's going to look really cool, really, really gross. Really quick to do for Halloween as well. Right, now I'm going to move on to my second case, which has some of my, my more expensive items in it, so let's delve in. So, this is my second box. It is a Snazaru box. This is what I got my face paint kit in, and there's only a few more bits in here, so we're coming to the end of the video, kind of, maybe. Tops off, guys. So first up in here, I have some sellotape. You never know. You Do you ever know? You don't. You never know. It's always good to be prepared, you know? So. Next up I've got something which is very near and dear to my heart, which is my silicone sculpt gel, which is like £30 for this. And you might be thinking, why? Or you might be thinking, that's a good deal, but you know, whatever. Um, if you want me to do a separate video on how to use silicone sculpt gel then tell me because it can be kind of complicated and kind of weird and I was taught how to use this at makeup school so I, yeah it's um, to make wounds and things and it's very te technical I want to say um, there's a lot of things that you can't do with it like specific items that you can't use with it and specific ways to mix it so it's a really cool product, but I wouldn't say it's for beginners. Um, it's it's a confusing thing, but it makes really cool effects. Next up, I've got a few stipple sponges, good for blood and good for making beards. This is how you do it, by the way. Yeah, really good for making beards if you're going to go cosplaying Comic Con, you know. All blood. A little bit of blood dabbing. Never hurt anyone. Speaking of sponges, I've got a whole bag here full of um, different types. I've got just your regular face paint sponge, some latex sponges. I've got a beauty blender. Blah, blah, blah. Got a beauty blender in there as well. Um, you just you always need some good, good old sponges. Then I've just got a whole pile of brushes. Now these might look kind of grody and that's because these are just for special effects. These get covered in glue and blood and just gross stuff and as much as you try to clean them they are not ever going to be the same as your regular makeup brushes. This is a MAC one um, but I never used it for foundation, so I just use it for face paint now. I don't know if that's like the worst thing I've ever said, but whatever. Oh, there goes one. So I've just got some regular kind of watercolour painting brushes. They're good. Got just some 
just go on Amazon, buy one of those Chinese produced makeup brush sets and to be honest that'll probably do you for the whole of Halloween because there is no point buying really expensive brushes for face paints guys. I mean maybe I'm just being frugal but I don't think there's much point. <laughs> like they, they are falling all over the floor and I don't care because they are cheap and covered in glue. So I say just buy a bunch of cheap makeup brushes and go to town and then don't be scared of just throwing them away when they're covered in spirit gum and can no longer be used. But apparently a good tip for getting spirit gum out of brushes is using um, lighter fluid. Don't quote me on that but apparently that works. I, I don't know, I haven't tried but maybe. Don't go like setting yourself on fire or anything. Please. Another thing that I have here is just a little tool for using on wax and specifically silicone sculpt gel but you know these things from Hobbycraft they're actually like a painter's tool but uh they work fine and dandy for scraping out wax. The last thing that I've got is probably my favourite thing in the world and I'm gonna show you right now. So these are my skin illustrator palettes and I've wanted these for years and years and years and I just got them maybe a few months ago and I love them so much. If you've ever watched um, some of the special effects girls up on YouTube most of them will have these palettes and that's why I wanted them because I want to be like them. <laughs> I love them. And the, these palettes are really expensive but they'll last forever. So the first one I got is the Illustrator FX palette and um, forgive me it's a little bit messy inside I think but so you get all these colours so there is blood tone, age blood, uh, bruise tone, ultra blue, black, white, green, <laughs> prime yellow, burnt orange and prime red and with these you can make some really cool effects and just Mm, paint to your heart's content and these are alcohol activated paints so unless you have I think it's 99% or higher alcohol these will not work they don't work with water they don't work with like spit they don't work with lemonade Just don't even try that stuff you need alcohol and the alcohol that I use is called IPA it's isopropyl alcohol you can buy it from Amazon which I find kind of worrying because they just delivered it to me and didn't like I didn't need to show any ID and it's like full on alcohol I could be drinking that stuff, I don't um, but I could be <laughs> I'm pointing over there because it's there on the floor I'm not going to pick it up, it's just a bottle of like alcohol but you need it for these paints and they're beautiful they make the paint look like it's sat under the skin and it's just amazing for veins and like bruises and it's just I love it so much it's my baby I managed to get this um, surprisingly cheap I got this and the other palette that I'm going to show you for like 110 pounds including postage which is like definitely cheaper than other people have been getting them from what I've seen on the internet so the other one that I've got is a Skin Illustrator on Set palette and it's got a few of the same colours but it's just little and it's got some skin tones um, this is like a vein tone which is really good um, and yeah all these skin tones are really cool you can actually use this as um, kind of like foundation if you wanted to but I've, I haven't done that um, again you need the alcohol to activate these and they're just so beautiful I actually used these palettes on my um, 11 makeup that I did, my last video, to do the veins around my eyes, in case you were wondering. So I think that's pretty much it for what's in my special effects cases. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below and uh, thumbs up this video because that would be really nice of you and I'd appreciate it. Um, I hope that this in some way helped you and I hope that you have a great Halloween period 
and everything goes swimmingly and blood is everywhere and it's just a really great time. <laughs> okay, um, thanks for watching. Bye. Stuff now. Why did I think, hey, I'm making a YouTube video because my mother is on. Mm -hmm. <sighs> this coffee is like cold. <laughs>